North Korea latest. Now Macron wades into Pyongyang affairs as World War III tensions soar. Emmanuel Macron as senior French diplomat sir to meet with their South Korean counterparts in Seoul later this week as the situation with North Korea continues to worsen. Lee Dae-hoon, South Korea's special representative for Korean Peninsula Peace and Security Affairs, will meet with his French counterpart Nicolas de Riviere on Tuesday, according to the South Korean Foreign Ministry. The high-level meeting on nuclear issues, the second of its kind, is intended for discussions on their coordinated countermeasures against North Korea's recent missile provocation and to deepen cooperation on its continued nuclear ambitions. On Wednesday, North Korea announced it successfully tested a new ICBM capable of hitting anywhere in the United States, declaring that the launch marks the completion of its nuclear armament. The test came after the North had not carried out major provocations since September 15, pouring cold water over cautious expectations that efforts will resume to contain tensions on the Korean Peninsula through talks and negotiations. The announcement comes after South Korea and the United States began a huge joint air exercise involving hundreds of aircraft, including two stealth jets. The five-day drill, which is called Vigilant Days, is meant to improve the Allies' wartime capabilities and preparedness, South Korea's defense ministry said. The U.S. 7th Air Force sent major strategic military assets, including an unusually large number of the latest generations of stealth fighter jets, for the annual training in the Korean Peninsula. They include 6 F-22 and 18 F-35 stealth fighter jets. About 12,000 U.S. military personnel are participating. In total, 230 aircraft will be flying at 8 U.S. and South Korean military installations in the South. As tensions continue to escalate with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and U.S. President Donald Trump engaged in threats and counter-threats as well as a war of words. Mr. Trump as nation security adviser has said that the U.S. is willing to act unilaterally to deal with the hermit country. Herbert Raymond McMaster said, the president is going to take care of it by, if we have to, doing more ourselves. But what we want to do is convince others it is in their interest to do more. China, as you know, has taken some unprecedented actions. And what we're asking China to do is not to do us or anybody else a favor, but to act in China's interest. There's a real grave danger to China to Russia, to all nations from a North Korea that is armed with nuclear weapons. That is not in China's interests. It's not in Russia's interests.